friends, and welcome to another story time with Miss Kay. Today we are reading Three Cheers for Kid McGear, written by Sherry Dusky Rinker, illustrated by A.J. Ford. One day at the construction yard, five friends are building, working hard. Flatbed drives into the site. Vroom, vroom! Her secret load is strapped down tight. The tarp comes off and they're surprise! The crew cannot believe their eyes. Five trucks stop and turn and stare at the tiny truck that's sitting there. Clean and shiny, all brand new, with lots of cool attachments too. Whoa, what kind of truck are you? With a scoop on her front end, she gives a turn, a twist, a bend, and vaults off flatbed in one swoop. Beep, beep, hello, she says, and greets the group. Wow, now who do we have here? I'm a skid steer, Kid McGear. I'm here to pitch in in any way to help you guys get done today. I'm here to work, to have a turn. I want to join the team and learn. I'm the new kid on your crew. So is there something I can do? Kid, we have a huge job here. We have a ton of ground to clear. I think kid, you are just too small to be much help around here at all. We have to move out yards of dirt. I'm worried that you might get hurt. I saw your trick, that's fancy stuff, but you don't look quite strong enough to jump in here and do your share. Maybe just stay over there. The trucks drive off to clear the land. No problem, guys, I understand. I'll help out some other day, Kid says as she turns away. The big trucks go back to working hard, clearing the construction yard. And then... Honk! Suddenly, Kid hears a yelp. Emergency! Come quick! Come help! Screech! Kid stops and spins around, revs and heads right toward the sound. All the trucks start rolling fast, speeding toward the cliff, full blast. But Kid McGear gets turbo burst, and so she gets there fast and first. Working on a steep hillside, the trucks begin to slip and slide. Now trapped in trees with mud and rubble, excavators in big trouble. Bulldozer is in trouble too. But Kid McGear knows what to do. First, so that she doesn't slip, Kid puts on track so she can grip. She stops a moment, takes a look, and quickly grabs her grapple hook. In one smooth and steady swipe, she grabs a load of steel pipe. Support is needed to begin. Kid's power driver slams them in. With pipes all lined up in a row, Kid grabs a chain and gives a throw. Kid rolls downhill, brave and sure, and wraps each truck so they're secure. Kid's giant scissors, power shears, cut tangled limbs. Then her blade clears. Now we need something, says the kid, to help make sure that they don't skid. Here, I'll dump this load of sand for traction on this slippery land. Kid rolls into each small space and pushes sand right into place. Then Kid sees a giant rock. It has bulldozer trapped and blocked. I'll jackhammer this to bits. And with a roar, the boulder splits. Crane truck clears away the rubble, lifting each piece without trouble. Kid, 
Then Excavator coughs. I think my track is falling off. Excavator shifts onto his scoop to pull his track out from the goop. Forklift on, lickety split, kid rolls down and fixes it. Working at full speed nonstop, the chains tied to the pipes up top. Cement mixer, we need your weight. Hit low gear, stay strong and straight. Now everybody pull, kid shouts. The others rev hard, helping out. Down there, you guys, start up and roll. We'll pull and tie to keep control. Soon everyone's back on level land and can all get back to work as planned. I'm so glad you're all okay. And Meg Kid turns to roll away. But the big trucks start to cheer to show their thanks for Kid McGear. They shout three times, hip, hip, hooray! Kid McGear just saved the day. Please don't go, kid. We hope you'll stay. Now Kid McGear has joined the crew, five old friends and someone new, six friends in the construction yard, big and small, all working hard, each one greater than they seem because they're working as a team. The end. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. Until next time, bye.